All right. Hey, y'all. So this is part of a series I'm going to be doing on the top five schools in elementary, middle, and high school level here in the Charlotte area. So a few things to be aware of before we jump right in. Uh, first is that if you go online and you look at different resources, you are going to find different answers depending on where you look, including if you look at the state's rankings of schools. For these purposes, I am using greatschools.org. Feel free to go check them out. Uh, the reason is they do have a ton of information, and it's probably the one that my clients reference to me the most is where they're actually doing their research. So this is not uh, me advocating for any specific school, um, but please do your own research. Uh, number two, uh, this is going to be public schools. I will probably do another one in the future with uh, private schools in our area. And lastly, please be aware that the Charlotte area, our county and cities are uh, unified school district, Charlotte Mecklenburg schools. So if you are looking in the Matthews, Mint Hill, Huntersville cities, it's still part of the CMS school district. So who am I? Uh, my name is John Patrick. I'm a full-time realtor here in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, and I have lived here for over 40 years, and I absolutely love it, and I love introducing people from all across the nation to our fantastic area and helping them put down roots here in Charlotte. So if I can help you, I encourage you, give me a call right now at the number below. Text me, shoot me an email, send up some smoke signals. I don't care, but reach out to me introduce yourself. Let's have a quick conversation and see how I can be of service for you. Also, be sure to click the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and get updates on any of my new content. All right, so let's jump right into the top five elementary schools here in the Charlotte area. And the first thing I want to say is if you're going to do your own research about schools and you do happen to go to greatschools.org, please note that the the ranking that I'm going to go through may be different than what you see. I, while I've been putting this video together, I've noticed it seems to change a little bit. So if you watch this video and then you go to great schools, it may be a little bit different when you see it because they're just updating it at all times. All right. So first up, Bain Elementary with a perfect 10 out of 10. And this is one that's a little close to my heart. This is up in Mint Hill, and I happen to live up near the area, so I'm a pretty big fan. And... I'm a pretty big fan of Mint Hill, too. If you want something that's a, a little bit more of a small town feel, maybe a little bit more rural, this might be a great place for you to consider. So, as you can see here on the map, uh, Bain is actually just off of Highway 51, and Mint Hill, the town center, is right on 51 itself. Now, that's an interesting mix of buildings that have been there for absolutely decades and brand new construction. So you do end up with a couple of grocery stores, interesting places to eat, a liquor store if you're so inclined, but really built up and turned into something that you don't have to travel very far to find. Maybe a nationwide restaurant you want to eat at. It's all right there. Now, of course, Mint Hill kind of gerrymanders itself up and down 51 a little bit. Uh, more to the west side, back towards town a little bit. Neighborhoods tend to be a little bit older. Sometimes the lots tend to be a little bit bigger. Many times they're houses that are well kept, but maybe not updated so much. But go to the east, even a couple of minutes, you're at 485. You've got great connectivity to the north and to the south, and cross 485, and suddenly it feels very, very rural. There are subdivisions over there, many times with nice um, houses on larger lots, but it feels very rural out there. But you're never more than a few minutes away from either Highway 51 or 485. Now, admittedly, connectivity-wise, if you want to travel back down towards the South Park area or uptown, it's not quite as easy from Mint Hill. Most of the roads around there are two lanes. They can get backed up before you get over to, say, Independence Boulevard, Highway 74, or more to the north, Albemarle Boulevard, Highway 27. Um, so it's going to take you a little bit longer, but if you're looking for that more rural feel, Mint Hill is a place that you should absolutely consider, and I honestly think you can get a lot for your money out here. Now let's look at the aerial photograph, and there's Bain Elementary. It's, uh, you know, hundreds of yards at most away from Highway 51 there to the left. And honestly, from this location, you're probably not 
I don't know, three minutes or something like that away from I-485. But you can see it looks like it's rural. It looks like it's surrounded by not much of anything. And it kind of feels like that when you're out there. All right, next up is Old Providence Road. This is scoring a 9 out of 10 on goodschools.org. And you can see here from the aerial photograph, it is surrounded by established subdivisions, lots of tree canopy. To the west, you've got more shopping, restaurants, things like that, nice neighborhoods. To the east, you've got more neighborhoods, but you've also got Providence Road, which takes you either down to 485 or up north towards South Park and the downtown area. I did a quick search this morning, and prices in this area serving this school range from about 235 to over $3 million. So there's something almost for everybody, especially if you're looking at homes that are built in the 60s, 70s, or 80s, maybe need a little updating as well. All right, number three on our list with a 9 out of 10 score is Park Road Montessori. Now, as you can see here from the aerial photograph, it's surrounded by subdivisions. And as you can see here from the maps view, it is much closer to downtown. This is a highly desirable area because of its connectivity up to uptown. All right, so number four on our list is McKee Road Elementary with a 9 out of 10, and this is another one that I've got a personal connection with. I actually vote here because I live right down the road from it, and I'm super excited about it. The area is relatively new in terms of construction, but you're also very close connectivity-wise to almost everything. A couple minutes down the road, you're going to be able to hit 485 and get anywhere in Charlotte, or hit Providence Road, head uptown if you want to head towards South Park or towards uptown, of course. I did a quick search this morning, and uh, houses range from the 230s, over 800,000, and most of those are about 2,000 or newer. You do have some in the 90s and the 70s, for example, but for the most part, houses here are relatively new, so you've got a great school, great connectivity, and relatively new construction. And finally, number five on our list with nine out of ten is Hawk Ridge Elementary down in the Ballantyne area. Now, as you can see from the aerial photograph, it's close to one of our top rated middle schools, um, Community House. It's surrounded by new subdivisions. I did a quick search this morning, 235,000 to over 1.3 million relatively new construction as well. It's close to 485 and you can shoot over to 521 or back over to Providence Road Highway 16 to get uptown towards the South Park area. So your 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 drive is going to be a little bit further because you're further out of town, but it's also very convenient to get over to one of the main roads and head up there. All right, so I hope this helps explain a little bit about the top five elementary schools here in the Charlotte area. Of course, if I can be of any assistance to you, please give me a call, give me a text, send me an email, send up those smoke signals, but just reach out to me. Let me know what I can do to be of service to you. I love the Charlotte area, and I love helping you put down roots here. Thanks.